From our view, uh, pro bono is an integral part of our professional responsibility. We don't, we don't do pro bono service as a result of some vague charitable impulse. We see it as the very heart of our professional responsibility as lawyers. We encourage our uh, folks to do pro bono by uh, publicizing their successes, by talking about pro bono work at all of our meetings. It's an agenda item at all our uh, office meetings, it's an agenda item of all our big firm meetings, agenda item of all our practice group meetings. In terms of the quality and the quantity of work, um, that's up to the individual in large measure. We have colleagues who uh, work in excess of 100 hours a year on pro bono service. We have others whose contributions are more modest from a quantitative standpoint. But the important thing is we want our pro bono practice to be commensurate with the quality level of our professional uh, commercial practice. It doesn't matter what your politics are, it doesn't matter what your skill set is, we're going to find a pro bono project for you. You're not restricted to your particular practice area. What we like to say at Foley and, and our pro bono initiative is that passion follows practice. We're sometimes asked uh, what sort of uh, high impact cases or what, what uh, large cases you're involved in and I. I, my first reaction to that is always to say, well, for every client, every case is, is high impact. And so as a result, uh, our lawyers get involved in, in matters of huge impact for individuals. Although there's never write-ups in the paper, uh, there's never uh, uh, you know, an award given, but uh, the letters that we receive from these folks who can now practice their religions or practice their political beliefs in this country um, have a huge impact uh, both for them and, and certainly on our lives as well.